What's up everyone, Chris here, our second race at Indie Road just finished and with me again is Steve, my teammate. Steve, how are you doing? You alright guys, I'm doing great. So guys, uh, we're gonna now uh, step a little aside from the like interview based commentary, so we're just gonna talk about the race in general, how it went for uh, my teammate and me. Steve, I'm gonna let you uh, start again, so... Tell us how you're qualifying and how your race went. Well, um, qualifying went, was, a, I should say, interesting to say the least. Um, there's, a, there's a few issues that I was having um, with the game itself. Um, there's a, a, a few connection issues. So, um, despite all that, I started qualifying. I, uh, I put down my base laps as usual, burning a bit of fuel and just getting the fuel for the car again. And I uh, I pit in to get some fresh tyres on so I can do my fasting and um, yeah, I don't know what happened. For some reason they, uh, they refused to let my car out the pit lane. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they refused Which... to let your car out the pit lane? <laughs> Well, <laughs> for some odd reason, um, my car just wouldn't exit the pit lane. They just held me in there. I, I obviously assumed that, that perhaps, perhaps they were upset that I was going to be too fast in qualifying, <laughs> so they just held me in the pit lane. <laughs> so I, what I you're saying know, is uh, that uh, someone sabotaged you? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. No, the, the game messed up, so I, I don't know what happened there. Um, I did great in um, in some of the practice races and um, in some of the practice laps, so I knew I had some good pace. So I, yep. I was looking forward to qualifying. I was expecting to get higher from the grid, but um, yeah, just one of those things, you know. I, so obviously, of course, I started last in the grid, which I wasn't particularly happy about. But oh well. But just even at the it, yeah, but even at the race start, you didn't actually start the race properly from uh, at least my point of view because when I watched the replay of our race, um, everyone's uh, started, but your car was still parked at your grid sp at your, at your uh, uh, starting spot, and you didn't uh, you didn't start on my replay. So, did you actually start your race properly when the when the countdown went to one? I didn't have a countdown, that was the weird thing, it, was, it held me in the pit lane and then it, it comes up with a back screen to say, you know, that keep your brakes on yeah. for false starts and I was expecting everyone to be on the grid and the countdown to come up, but that didn't come up, it, it just stayed black and next thing I know it, it just goes go and the screen disappears and it says go and, and next thing I know I, I'm <laughs> sat there in the grid and everyone's approaching the first corner I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> so not only did I start last I started with like a 15 second handicap as well <laughs> oh my goodness so, so it wasn't the best race the race day for you I'd say no it didn't go all, all planned uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> having said that it was still quite a fun race um, I was rapidly catching up with the with the people at the back so mm -hmm. But when I when I first started, I was thinking, do I carry on, or you know, are, is something else going to happen? You know, is my car going to spontaneously explode or something? <laughs> <laughs> With your luck, I actually think it was possible. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna happen. But I was catching with the people at the back, and yeah. And I just thought, you know what? Points are points. I'm just gonna get whatever points I can. I'm just gonna stick at this. So I figured I might as well just carry on, even if I, even if it finished last. You know, at least I still raced. So I thought yeah. I'd carry on. So anyway, how how did your start go? I I didn't see your start as per se. So <laughs> yeah, I seen you got I seen you got off to a better start than me. Well, yeah, I qualified 8th out of 13, and uh, my start was pretty decent, nothing uh, nothing to say about my start, but uh, I got off the line pretty good, and, um, well, I entered the first turn as 9th, but then I think there was some, I think, a connection issue, some people had uh, some sort of lag, so cars started bumping into each other, and unfortunately I got bumped off into the gravel trap. But um, I regained control and I continued racing in, I think it was 10th position, yeah. And, um, well, my race was pretty uh, pretty cool. I did change my, my strategy though in the after this incident to a one-stop strategy. Race distance, by the way, was 48 laps, so um, 
I had to run at least 24, 25 laps with my uh, tires before I pit in. So I really had to change like my whole entire strategy and uh, also my fuel strategies changed. And unlike you guys, where you uh, refuel, the amount of fuel that GT5 suggests, suggests you to refuel, sorry guys. Um, I did my <laughs> own calculation. Yeah, my English is kind of bad, so. I did my yeah. own calculation. Yeah, I heard refueling. about your fuel. Did, did you uh, calculate your fuel currently this time? Well, I'm not gonna give away too much yet, but um, I did only refuel 10 liters, so. Uh, at one point, I think it was lap. Uh, lap 40 or lap 41, I realized that uh, my fuel gauge kept getting smaller and smaller and uh, I figured I don't think I'm gonna make it into the finish line. Um, so luckily, actually, uh, FitCP and uh, XS Apollo uh, overtook me. By the way, by that time I was leading the race. Uh, I did slow down though because I started to save fuel so once they overtook me I started to use their slipstream uh, to save fuel for me. I was slipstreaming uh, at especially at the main straight and uh, it saved me enough fuel, you believe it or not, but I finished the race right before the finish line I ran out of fuel. So I guess uh, it was a perfect calculation for me. <laughs> Yeah, a little too perfect, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit too perfect. I, s I swear to God, in my last two laps, if you watch the replay in the last two laps, I was just shifting at like 4,000, 5,000 5, RPM max in order to save fuel. But, oh, what a race. I was really exhausted afterwards and I was really happy to take home the fourth place and some points. So, yeah, really exciting race, I, I must say. Yeah, at least you got some good points. Yeah, yeah I did, I did, I did. <laughs> So anyways, uh, uh, unlike me, sorry, unlike me, I didn't really get many points. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna ask you. So, uh, how did you finish your race? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, again, it was interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll say I was racing. I was, uh, I was catching up with the pack. Uh, I made a, a few places. Uh, my pitch strategy went as planned. Mm -hmm. I uh, I went for the uh, the two stop strategy. I figured that you know best not pitting too many times. I've got quite a lot of time to make up. So and I noticed some people might be on the three stops. So I was quite happy to see that I was gonna stay in front of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's making good time. And uh, after my second stop, um, I realised I was gonna end up having a good battle with Paganas, and me and him uh, have a very good battle, despite. Mm -hmm. Despite what happened in the first race, it was very clean. It was, yeah, it was I was very just honest. So. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't bump me off in the first quarter, so thank you, Paganas, for that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very clean. We were enjoying it, and uh, yeah, after about ten or so laps of battling, he uh, he magically disappears in front of me, and uh, it turns <laughs> out he disconnected. Okay. And uh, about. Ten seconds later, after me thinking to myself, I hope I don't disconnect. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the inevitable happened, and I disconnected as well. So. Oh my god. Yeah, a, a little annoyed. A li uh, I worked out that I would have finished seventh mm -hmm. if uh, if I hadn't disconnected, which would have been some okay points for us and the team. Mm, definitely. Alas, you know, there's things just happen. Mm. But the ridiculous okay. thing is that you disconnected in lap 44 out of 48. You have to mention that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I was it's not like you just started the race stuff. and you disconnected. I mean, you raised, yeah. I think, 95% of the race and then suddenly you disconnect. It's just, it's disgusting. Yeah, and uh, I was I was looking up as like 44 out of 48. It's like, I hope I make it to the end. I hope I make it to the end. Yeah. Literally two seconds after I thought that, I the screen just came up, you've been disconnected in. Uh, my heart just sank, to be honest, after all that work. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine off. that. All, all that for nothing. But luckily, the uh, the race stewards were very kind, and um, they they still gave points to the people who disconnected. Mm. So obviously, the, the last person to disconnect, which was me, would uh, would finish in tenth, and mm -hmm. then it go up from there on. So. I still got some points, not as much as I should have got, but, yeah, but still some points on the left. Yeah, exactly. So, so I thank the race stewards for giving me some points there. So mm. 
I, I, I feel your pain totally because it's pretty much the same what happened to me in our first race when I ran out of fuel in the second last lap and I finished uh, I finished the last in the race so yeah yeah I, I get I, I can imagine how you felt like how disappointed you felt after all this hard work but I guess yeah. that's that also counts as a race incident like a technical uh, failure so yeah well, well, in real life happened since him racing so yeah. Hopefully, uh, things will be smoother next next race. Which uh, are you are you looking forward to the next race? Oh, totally! It's gonna be at uh, Fuji, so I have so many memories from Gran Turismo 5 Prologue racing at Fuji every day. So it's a very wide track. You got lots of uh, overtaking spots, and uh, so it's a super fast track. So I'm really looking forward to that race. Yeah, it should be a good race. I, I'm in the practice races. I've done pretty well on them, so mm. I'm hoping for a top three finish here, providing nothing happens this time around. Yeah. Like, <laughs> providing nothing, like, nothing like my car explodes or I don't get round <laughs> off <anything> like that. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know what to expect now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But. I think at this point anything can happen. <laughs> yes, mo most definitely, especially on this game. I, I, I think it's becoming a little too realistic now. <laughs> yeah, it's getting too uh, intense, too hardcore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Random yeah. things are not happening to my car. <laughs> yeah. Now let's cross our fingers and hope everything uh, turns out well. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, at this point, I want to give a big thank you to the organizers. It's, uh, it's Rick, aka FitCP, and Max. Thank you guys, you're doing an awesome job. Uh, the championship is the best ever and uh, I hope we have many more seasons with you guys. So yeah, that's my thank you towards the, the stewards. And uh, yeah. And I, I'd just like to add to that, you know, also thank you to the race stewards as well. D despite a few disagreements I've had with them, but uh, I, I suppose that's to be expected from a, a typical race driver. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank them for more they've done and also putting up with me. <laughs> yeah, as long so, as the, as the so race directors don't turn into the race director that Ayrton Senna and Alan Brost had. I believe you watched oh the, no. the movie Senna, <laughs> so... Oh, you haven't watched it yet? I've yet to see it, actually. No, I, I've yet to see it. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing it, though. I, I believe it's actually out today. Okay, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm going to shut up here. Steve, you have to watch the video, the film of Ayrton Senna. To all my viewers out there, guys, you have to watch the Ayrton Senna film if you're uh, interested in, uh, in motorsport and uh, racing. That's a must watch on your list. So, yeah. Steve, why, are you, why aren't you in the cinema yet? Um, I'm doing this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Good excuse. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge Senna fan. Obviously, yeah, a lot. That I do in the race, like I follow from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I follow all the stuff that he says, such as um, like the saying he says that if you're no longer going for a gap, you're no longer a racing driver. And, yeah. You know that that's that saying is going through my head whenever I'm racing. You know, it's yeah. like if there's a slight gap, it's like, mm, you know, should I go for it or not? And, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm a huge Senna fan. You know, he's a he's a great hero of mine, and mm, it's just it's just such a shame what happened to him. Mm. I think motor racing would have been completely different had he been alive today. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Mm. I think Senna is the ultimate driver's driver. Yeah, most definitely. Mm. All right, Steven. Uh, is there anything else you wanna tell to our viewers? Anything uh, that is in your mind? I'm drawing a blank here. Not unless you can help me out. Um. No, it's also. <laughs> the end from my side, so uh, I guess uh, yeah, we're gonna leave you. you. Sorry, what? You're useless. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm not gonna edit this, okay? So. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, so well, let's talk a little bit about the next race. Um, what, what are your expectations? How, how well do you think you'll perform? Well, since I am pretty familiar with the track, I think. Uh, uh, the only thing I have to do is find the proper setup for the car and um, I hope I'm more lucky with the fuel. I promised yeah. myself now I'm not going to do too much of uh, hardcore um, fuel calculation anymore. You're going to follow gonna, my advice now. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to let the GT5 assist me with the fuel, the refueling system. So um, I guess I'm, I still have to think about my strategy, but I'm definitely going to pay more attention to the, re uh, to the fuel level this time. Yes. <laughs> Good to <dear>. city boy. 
twice yes. nine out of fuel. Yeah, seriously, you it's uh, it's living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling you, just let the game do it for you. <laughs> yeah, but uh -huh. yeah, I know I understand, but it's just I don't know. It's just me, I guess. I I, yeah. I wanted to calculate myself, and luckily this time. The luck was on my side, so... <laughs> you still ran out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, I did run out of fuel, but at the uh, at the perfect moment, I guess. <laughs> it was pretty funny, because I was flat out yeah. until the end, and like uh, right before I crossed the start-finish line, I heard the engine going... Brrr. I looked at the fuel gauge, it was red. I'm like, oh god, what a timing. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best thing to happen. <laughs> no, not at all. So, yeah. Just well... Think you might have enough. Got a high finish. Yes, but still, uh, since I did a one-stop strategy, my tires were wearing down pretty badly. And uh, in the last like five laps of my first stint, and the last five laps of the last stint, um, I w it was pretty much like driving on ice or snow. I was just understeering, oversteering. My car was sliding in all directions, so. I was just, uh, I think my pace, my lap times was down by like two and a half seconds from my fastest lap time, so I was just driving super smooth and trying to keep it on track, you know. I am. Uh, uh, Ty Wear and this most definitely played a, uh, a big role, especially in the lap times. I know oh, he's yeah. tagging us when I was back on with him, his, his front tires. His front tires seem to be wearing down more than mine, well, at least he seemed to be a bit slow in some of the sectors. So. Mm. I'm not sure what's going on there, whether he was making some mistakes or not, but Ty is most definitely seems to be playing a big role. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think it also uh, it's a big it's a big difference on what kind of setup do you run. Do you run a more um, like uh, a sprint setup where you go on uh, an aggressive driving style and it uh, kills your tires, or you change your uh, setup to a more like. I, th I say a long distance uh, stint style where you save tires, but then you lose uh, yeah. uh, precious lap time, of course. That makes I'm, I'm a bit of a, an aggressive driver, so it's kind of hard for me to save my tires. So. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But, so. but hey, you get me good pace in the race. I have good race pace, so happy to with that. Yeah, it's, it's true, it's true, it's true. So, I guess we're gonna uh, wind up our our commentary here. Steven, again, thank you for having you here. My pleasure. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to leave you now with the last, like, almost two minutes of uh, the race highlights. I hope you guys enjoy them. Steven, thank you again. Thank you to Race Stewards, and I see you guys soon.